let's go it is january the 20th 2018 uh i really wasn't planning on making another video today but based on the title of this video you can see right what happened uh so we almost got robbed i work at a part-time job obviously i've talked about this before on uh saturdays i work every saturday and then during the week i'll work a couple of days after my full-time job and uh yeah so i usually on saturdays i'll work as a cashier and uh today i really wasn't even scheduled to work as a cashier but i was covering for somebody else and it's just it's a tool store it's very northern right we compete with like home depot lowe's places like that i guess harbor freight would be the number one competitor um without saying where i work you get it right um and uh i've been working here since i think like early august late july and uh, i've never run into any scenario where you know we had gotten robbed or anything while I was working as a cashier. I've heard about it, um, and usually when people do rob us, they'll just grab something and they'll run out the door, and that's just kind of how they hit us. Um, kind of the same way they'll hit Lowe's and Home Depot. I've heard about them doing it there as well. And usually these are people just looking for drug money and uh, and whatever. Well, today a couple of individuals came in, and I'm pretty naive. You know, I look at you know I try to look at people from the best angle possible and not judge. But another co-worker of mine was like, he knew right away what time it was. And uh, so he told me, he was like, yo, he's like, Drew, I'm going to stay up here and just hang out with you and make sure you're good. And I was like, eh, whatever, dude. Like, I don't know why you worried about me. I'm good. Um, well, fortunately, he did because these people was pretty crazy. And uh, they was definitely loaded up. Like, I mean, loaded up, like loaded on drugs and I don't know if they had any weapons to be honest with you i know they didn't have no guns uh or they were smart enough not to pull it out um or i'm thankful enough they didn't pull it out i don't know but he probably had a knife uh he had something in his hand i couldn't really see what it was but nevertheless uh they was pretty sketchy and i will say this much the people i work with are like super legit because they all like have my back like they nobody was hiding shying away from like making sure we were good um but they came up to the front and tried to distract other you know try to distract the guy that was originally up there with me uh making sure i was good by having him look for something and and whatever but it just so happened to be that another customer came in and needed help and uh so i had to call over the walkie talkie to get somebody to come up and that kind of threw these individuals off because they was pretty loaded up and you know when you're drunk and high like you're not really using the best judgment and sometimes you get kind of scattered easily and they were definitely scattered easily so then they tried to pick a fight with another customer like they was gonna knock him out and uh yeah it was my heart was racing there for a little bit i, I wasn't really prepared for that today and it's probably something that i should have thought about in the past right like you know if this happens how am i gonna handle myself because it would have been all gut reaction you know how i would have handled myself at that point and that's not really how I want to go about it, especially here, because, um, you know, when you're when you work at a place like this, I mean, like my manager got fired from his previous job. He worked at Home Depot. He got fired from there because uh, he tried to stop a customer and <laughs> he ended up getting in trouble because um, of liability issues or whatever. So um, nonetheless, it was just, man, it was pretty crazy. My heart was beating there for a little while, but. But I have a lot of respect for the people I work with. I'll say that much. I work with some pretty legit people. Um, pretty cool. Nonetheless, they ended up leaving. On the way out, they like totally knocked the cell phone out of my manager's hand. Like just knocked it right out of her hand because she was getting ready to call the cops. Um, but other than that, they didn't touch nobody. Did get really, really in a customer's face. Like we thought he was about to do something and he was reaching in his pocket. So that's when I thought like maybe the dude's got a knife or something. That's the that was the point when I started to get a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Like I was like, man, like if this dude stabs somebody, like, oh my goodness, it is on. But fortunately he didn't do nothing and, and they ended up leaving and, and all was good. But uh man. I guess that's just one of those things you just say thanks thanks god you know that it wasn't any more than it was you know what i mean because i'm i'm really I, I just like things to be nice and smooth you know what i mean like 
I've never really been somebody that, that likes drama, that likes nonsense, you know, just let's make it smooth, let's have a good day. So, glad that's over with and, and everybody's safe and nothing serious happened. Oh man. But nonetheless, I'll be back tomorrow. I will be making a video tomorrow, I'm sure, because it's going to be big. Uh, we got some big games tomorrow. I'm hoping something crazy happens and the Jaguars pull it out against the Patriots. That would be hilarious, but I doubt it. So I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm always going to trust the process. I'm going to thank God that nothing serious happened and that I'm safe. But I'll talk to you all later. I'm out.